<laughs> Hi, folks. You are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our channels and networks. I'm Mike Morales, your friendly neighborhood catador. Uh, that, here in Southern California, here in the San Gabriel Valley, that guy out there is? Rick Levy, your friendly neighborhood catadork, also in Southern California. <laughs> Look at this. I'm rocking my City Locks cap. I have... I just got it today, right before we came on online, and I have to I have to show it off because it's beautifully done, very well done. Anyway, I, I might just post that on Instagram like everybody else has. Uh, today, Rick and I have a wonderful chance to taste and dissect this. So far, we fell in love with the reposado. This is tattoo tequila, and this is the añejo. It is organic organic certified oh check that out look at that of course, yeah, really some red yeah. accents on the metal medallion that's embedded in the wood stopper yep uh we just broke the seal off of, of these they've been sitting on my living room floor for like weeks probably a couple of months because when we got this delivered to us it was after our cutoff for our, for our 2021 brands of promise so mine um, mine's been sitting on a shelf for three months yeah I yeah. just took the plastic off. <laughs> yeah, we just took the, he had to dust this off. So, you know. And, um, you know, we were, we were blown away by the organic repo. It comes out of 1480, which always seems to dazzle us. And, uh, you know, it's right there in Amatitan and they produce a lot of organics. And uh, they're just, they're, they're just firing on all cylinders, man. They're doing everything right. Oh my and God. Uh, oh, I just got and, chills. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh you opened it and smelled i yeah i'm, I'm gonna melt i i really think i'm gonna <laughs> melt when i stick my nose in here because just well, the repo well, just, i was getting those warm tingles down my spine <laughs> like like i had just returned home after being away for 10 years or something, <laughs> you know? it was that kind of comfort well you know to be fair rick's been on the bench he's had some remodeling to, at his home <laughs> and this is february when we're when we're recording this and you probably won't see it till april uh you know i haven't i really haven't spoken to rick since like before the holidays <laughs> you know yeah, so, i think i may have done my last tasting in october yeah yeah something like that and and i think it was cabal which also ironically or coincidentally come comes out of 1480 so we're we're thankfully think... mike tends to have all the 1480s come to me yes because <laughs> although being on the bench i missed one or two <laughs> you I'm did you missed that about couple. but uh you know, i'll find it yeah you know what there's plenty for there's enough for everybody that's why we have that's why we have <laughs> we have a tasting team a tasting squad and i'm, I'm always so grateful to you guys welcome to the island <laughs> yeah <laughs> hello tattoo Everybody, smiles, everybody, smiles. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's going to catch that, that reference unless you've been a fantasy oh, island. You're too person. old, Mike. You're a fantasy island person. Uh, okay, yeah, again, I'm, I'm shocked. Look at- Oh my God. I, yeah, see? Am I the only one? I, first of all, we, the Reposado, we have no idea. Where, I don't have any information. The deck that they sent us did not tell us how long it's been rested so, that is so light That's yeah such a light and so, yeah so we know that as this is we, like a carlos camarena barrel touch or, or a felipe know? camarena barrel right the G4. yeah felipe camarena you know it's just so light It, it, well, I, in the repo, we had these amazing layers of barrel notes in addition to the agave. Um, I'm wondering, you know, if if it's got a light color. I'm expecting incredible barrel notes in this añejo, but with such a light color, maybe we'll still get a lot of that that agave forward character with that we had. Well, you know, uh, I read uh, some of the information from their from their mar marketing deck. Uh, on the Reposado, and they did say that um, Las Americas is the most. I need, I need a moment to myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Shall we? Shall we? Shall, let me, let me turn let's off. Let, let's pause so I can have a moment alone <laughs> with this. Well, we had to pause it when you choked the other day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to melt. I'm going to have to pause the camera again, folks. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Rick gets really emotional. 
you know, when he when he when he smells. I have a I have a visceral reaction to tequilas. So, oh, and this is a good one. Oh my God, I know what that combination of the wood notes is and the agave, but you know what it is? It's the sometimes you and I from tequilas from Mati time we get that liquors that anise and a, and a yeah. blanco. That's what that's what's in here. It's blending in with the wood notes and it's coming up like. It's this lovely combination of anise and wood notes, and it's creating something different. It's like a whole other aroma. I I I can't place. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Oh yeah, that anise is just doing amazing stuff with the uh, with the uh, other barrel notes. Oh my goodness. I don't know how long this is being aged. This is uh, incredible. I'm, I'm getting dried fruits in here. Yeah, it's got a bit more depth. More, it's, It almost reacts like, like it's been resting in the barrel much longer than it actually looks. Um, you know, it, to be an Añejo, one to three years. So this could be, you know, 24 months. It could be, I don't know. I don't know. We know it's over a year because it's fairly light. I mean... If you don't believe us, I mean, look at look at how light this is. Yeah, that's that's almost as light as the reposado, and yet way yeah. more character. And we've had repos more than twice as dark as. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you know, years back, right? Because you know we're we're still we're still you know on the downhill slope of a pandemic. There's still an añejo shortage. A lot of people said that there was going to that was going to go into the reposado category. We found out last year the, some of the trends that we saw um, was that they were doing wonderful things with reposados, making them almost you know, blending barrels and making you know blending them with extrañejos and giving the reposado way more character to emulate uh, an añejo because nobody had añejos in in some. Most, a lot of distilleries did not have a reserve of añejos because people people drank in 2020 people drank really well because they couldn't go anywhere <laughs> and now we're feeling that that effect as well but this however long they're resting it it's perfect shall we dive in sir oh please okay salute <laughs> oh my god oh residual anise on the back end of the palate along with the wood nose at the top wow i want the blanco yeah. we didn't get a blanco <laughs> i want the blanco man Yeah, they only sent us a repo in Anijo. We didn't get a Blanco, so I've got a bone to pick with yeah. you guys. The pepper, I, the spice, and anise together is yeah, and see, a great the effect. anise. I didn't detect any anise in the repo follow. <clears throat> it was it was really barrel forward. You know, we, we got agave on the nose, of course, of course, because um, there's nothing. I I don't think they're they're using anything less than six year old agaves. And if you follow them on Instagram, take a look at Las Americas or anybody else. That has their distill has them as their distillery. They have five year old agaves that are enormous, enormous. Okay, yeah. and that's unheard of. There's very few growers that can grow them like that. Okay, but this one, the the the, uh, the <laughs> well, they have a they they have an agavero that uh, goes out daily and, and whispers sweet nothings into the pancas, right? I'm telling you. They, they, whatever the, it's, this is, it's, it's brujeria. It's, it's, those, it, it's black magic what they're doing with this stuff. Those agaves know that they're loved to there at 1480. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a symphony. Sweet whiskey notes. Long, long finish. Yeah. It keeps evolving in your glass. The Reposado did the same thing. 
folks, if you don't spend time with this tequila, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. I had to go back and uh, check out the repo. You didn't detect any anus, did you, on that repo? I didn't. I didn't. Not, not to the depth that I'm getting here. Right. Yeah. Well, this comes across, um, uh, well, not as sweet as the uh, repo was, you know, with those barrel notes. Okay. So a little bit drier. The, uh, the sweetness is different. It's more like the, uh, the, the dried fruit kind of thing. Whereas with the reposado, you know, it's getting those kind of uh, creamy, buttery, butterscotch kind of uh, notes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the depth on this nose and the flavor, there's, so this is, it, there's depth. It, it yeah. really is more complex, it, bolder. I think at, at the first intake, just, you know, and I think also the white pepper and the barrel notes, I think they also create that, that little bit of the cinnamon heat at mid palate, but it's not, mm -hmm. it's not overpowering. It's just kind of, it's, it's, um, um, how shall I say it? Because uh, we've had we've had some hot cinnamon, you know, from from barrel notes that, that where the pepper turns into hot cinnamon because it's been aged. This one is a nice play on both. You get the pepper and the cinnamon together. It's not one doesn't overpower the other. That's what I'm trying to say. Wow, that's just gorgeous. What a nose on this thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hmm. <clears throat> Love the legend tears. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. Brand of promise nominee in that organic Anejo category. This is do we have a price point on this thing? I don't. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. Uh I wonder here in, in San Diego, Old Town Tequila has the Blanco for 40. So you think so, this is probably a 60 65 dollar bottle? That's probably where I'd start. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 worth every penny. I I wouldn't hesitate to to pay that much for this quality. This is a quality tequila, all right? Yeah. But it's been around I I will say it's it's a legacy brand cuz I know for a fact it's been around for at least 8 years. I told the story on the Reposado uh, review where they uh, when I reached out to them like 8 years ago um, they sent me all the tchotchkes, you know, a salt rimmer, a shot glass, shot, gla shot glasses, uh, a t-shirt, bar mat, all the really cool stuff. I never got the juice. I kept looking, I kept pulling out all the, all the tchotchkes out of the box and go, where the hell is the juice? No juice, nothing. And then, and then when I tried to reach back to the person, my contact person, email bounced. So I couldn't get a hold of anybody. And I've been chasing it. I've been chasing this down ever since. Well, good on you for getting it. Hey, man, highly, highly Worth underrated. It. Highly underrated. If you found this, yeah. folks, pick it up. It's a gem. It's a Grab it. gem. Grab it. Grab, Grab it. all you can. Um, I, I will, I, hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get uh, uh, the CEO that calls himself Tequila John. I, I can't, offhand, I can't remember his first name. I didn't pull up his email when he, when he reached out to me. Uh, but I will. And I will, I will try to get him on open bar and, and maybe uh, Rick, you can sit in on that with me like you did with, with Juan de Leon. Open bar has been going crazy. People have loved the, I've had some wonderful, great conversations on open bar, uh, really memorable. Uh, it's, it's fantastic to hear the stories directly from the makers. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't, you can't beat that. No, no. I mean, and who else is letting you tell your story? You know, this, that's what Open Bar was about. It was about, you know, it had always been about. Nobody can tell your story better than you can. And that's, and I'm going to, I'm going to find who Tequila John is, if he even exists anymore. Um, and, and about the, the reality show, I, I've never, you know, I almost had one, uh, but I've never heard of that one. Uh, but hey, you know what? If you folks are, are watching us or listening to us on Spotify and you've had it, send us an email, shoot us a comment, whatever. Uh, let us know what you're doing with it, how much you're paying for it, how long you've been drinking it, 
what you know about it? Because other than the information they sent us, uh, there's not a whole lot. And and apparently in Southern California, I know they had they had nationwide distribution at their strength, at their height. And uh, if if Zach doesn't have it, if Z Tequila does not have it, it's it's getting scarce, in my opinion. Uh, or so you may want to pick it up because I'm not sure what's going on with the brand. I will find out. But uh, for us, finally, Brand of Promise nominee, I think in that legacy Definitely. organic category, it's beautiful. So let us know what you're doing with it. Leave us a comment. Uh, please subscribe to us. Follow us on Instagram and, and, and uh, all of our other platforms, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. We're on there too, except for Rick. He's not on Pinterest. He should be. <laughs> I'm not on any social media. Yeah, he's sorry. He's got a, he's got a <laughs> slow Instagram. Uh, but I don't think you do anything with that either, but that's okay. Cause you know, he's, he just has a moment to himself. He's going to, after we're done, he's just going to go into the corner and, and, you know, and just, and just smile. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take these bottles with me and go find a, a corner somewhere and curl up and hide curl up in the, in the fetal position. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now it. So, folks, if you're curling up in the fetal position, tell us how and where. <laughs> and I'm Mike Morales in, in, in the San Gabriel Valley. That guy out there is Rick Levy down in uh, San Diego County. Uh, you've been watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media. Follow us on all our, our platforms and whatever you do. Tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely. <laughs>